welcome back to another video. It's been a while, but happy Thanksgiving. I have no idea when I have no idea when this video is gonna get uploaded, but happy Thanksgiving. I did not imagine that I will be doing Thanksgiving mukbang with just lamyeon, but um, it is what it is. I have to just deal with my situation. To be honest, this is one. This is one year where nothing went according to the plan. It is okay. Although I knew that, I expected that, oh, nothing is going to go according to my plan, how I plan things. But man, it is completely opposite. So many new things, spontaneous, unexpected things that are happening, but still all good. I made three nuguri. <laughs> I wanted to cook it from the camera, but I keep forgetting to get the gas. So I just cooked it on the stove top and I uh, just enjoying it here. Again, the sun is going crazy. So, so you guys are going to see a lot of light going in and out. Of course, I have Aiden. He is hugging this ducky. I was going to take it away. I was just keeping him busy until I was ready to film. But it seems like he likes holding on to it. So I just let him have it. Bon appetit. Mmm. Oh my gosh, I was so hungry this morning. I was getting so... I wasn't even getting mad. I was just like shaking. I'm like, I am hungry. I have to eat something. So when I went to go get the ramen, I just bought like three, like three like packs of chocolate and like, you know, like snacks. And I just inhaled that. And I'm having this. Mm. So I did add a spoonful of uh, pepper flakes, so it's a little spicier, which I love. Pairing it with just original best kimchi. Mm. Mm. I do wish that I have more complex dish or even cook with you guys, but timing with this little one like his real personality is coming out so it's really hard to keep up with him it's really hard to um just kind of like be on the same level as him especially like when i'm ready to film so i can't do anything more complex than like to go carry out or lamia right now simple but my gosh this is hitting the spot it's still before thanksgiving and uh, uh before the actual thanksgiving with my family i've been having a lot of thanksgivings and we've been eating great food amazing food but this just kind of pushed everything down He must love that ducky. It's great. Keeping him busy. So our little family was going through um, flu. I don't know if it's just flu or just, just common cold or whatever. But it started with um, my husband. And then it went to Aiden. Thankfully, Aiden had the least or like his symptoms weren't bad. No fever. He was eating fine. He was uh, playing fine, so I wasn't too worried about him, but I was like kind of like still anxious because I wasn't getting sick. I'm like, am I gonna get it? Like, is it gonna hit me like super hard or like, like how bad is my like sickness gonna be? So it didn't hit me for a while. So Tong is better. He's actually really good. He's completely good. He still has a little stuffy nose, but you know, he's still okay. But this morning I'm like, shit, I am sneezing so much. Um, my nose is so runny. Mm. 
so I'm a little worried because I still have family Thanksgiving. My sister's coming, you know, from out of town. It's her first time seeing Aiden. So I might just get drunk off of NyQuil today. <laughs> That don't take care of Aiden. Mm. I was like, when when I saw that Aiden was getting sick. I was just mentally preparing myself like, oh my gosh, you know, he's going to get very sick. He's not going to have appetite. He's just going to, because I've heard that when kids, babies are sick, they don't even cry. They just kind of like whisper. Where's the duck go? Here, do you want to? So I was just like mentally preparing to see that because, you know, obviously it's going to break my heart. But he didn't have any of that. He was just like, he was crying a lot um, when like, you know, he's like annoyed or whatever. I don't think he was crying because he feels sick. Um, but anyways, um, what was I saying? Yeah, but thankfully, honey. Um, thankfully, I didn't have any of, um, I have a box of toys. It's okay. He's going to go through all of it. Um, so thankfully, he didn't have one of those, like, uh, he can't move, he can't eat, or anything like that. Thankfully, um, no fever. Mm. <laughs> so 
So, I've been buying my noodles from like an American shop. And I find that they're a little cheaper. But I pretty I'm pretty sure that these are like one of the older stocks because when you open the soup base, it should be a powder, but they're in like these little blocks. I feel like it's been like kind of sitting there for a really long time. Only downside, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter when you're cooking because it's kind of just like dissolve anyways, but. Mm. Another thing, the noodles are very like, they're all like broken. Look at this. These are usually all broken. When you buy from like American stores, because they've been just sitting there for so long. Ah, you like that? If you guys are married and you got or like if you have kids or not, uh, you guys are living with your partner. What is like the most important things, important thing or things, for you to maintain a good relationship? I think mine is. I mean, I feel like it could be like pretty vague or it could be very specific. But if I can be very specific about it, I think it's finding a hobby. Or like finding a common thing that you guys really like, where you guys could do it together. It's for us, and I'm saying that only because it's re it's been really working for me and Tom right now. Um, although like he's busy with work, I'm busy at home, you know, taking care of uh, Aiden and Ame. Like there are just days where like we barely talk. Like we would text during the day when he's at work, but like when he comes home, either I'm sleeping, he's like passing out. <laughs> And like so, honestly, like only like com actual conversations we might have throughout the day is like a little bit in the morning. And e yeah, even in the mornings, like I'm usually really busy with Aiden. So we decided we found this one TV show that we absolutely like would die for. It's so fun. Usually, like so, Tony and I have a very different taste in TV shows, movies, etc. So it's really hard for us to um, find something that we, both of us like where. Both of us are both of us are as focused watching because usually if we watch something he likes, I'm just on my phone. I'm just going back and forth uh, to my room, to living room, or whatever. But we found a show called Kang Cholpude. It's basically a show, a reality survival uh, show where um, the Korean special forces, army forces, kind of come together and they just kind of go through missions and like uh, challenges and they end up with one winner um so we there are three seasons the third season is on um, airing right now and we watch what well, Tony actually watched the first season by himself and like i joined later and i'm like holy shit this is such a good show so for second season we watched it together and for third season um it, it comes out every Tuesday, full episode available on YouTube. And man, we look forward to Tuesdays because we'll be like, okay, what should we drink? What, what should be our food? And we like, we love like coming up with like meal ideas um, and drinking, like picking out alcohol. Uh, because when, um, because when Aiden goes to bed, it used to be 6 o'clock, but now it's like 7.30, 8 o'clock, so we kind of have to wait a little bit. But when Aiden goes to bed, we like uh, make food, uh, we drink. Yesterday we had white wine and pizza. 
Uh, we couldn't really think much, but like before that, we had like soju and like a bunch of Korean chasers. Uh, before that, we had like tequila and like uh, some like American food, I think. I don't remember. But like, we've been really enjoying that because we really love that show. We uh, we talk about it. Like, it's just so, such a good conversation. Like, we have such a good conversation talking about it. We laugh so much. So I feel like having that day, that Tuesday, where we get to do something together, we have great food, great alcohol, great TV show, great conversations. My gosh, it like no matter how tough the week was, I feel like that one day just makes up for everything. You know, there like we go through a lot of stuff, ups and downs, and like I think that Tuesday, like we just save up everything that we want to talk about. If we have problems with each other, we talk about it that day. It's not even a full day we have together because we usually go see people, see families, you know, especially because of Aiden. But that few hours where we just him and me, no baby. Well, Am is like sleeping too, so it's just us two, just us two. Spending time, few hours like that. Oh my gosh, I don't even need a whole day. I feel like that's what what's really working for us to like, um, have a good, still maintain a relationship where we feel like oh, we still love each other. He's more than Aiden's dad. Or I'm his dad. He's more than just a husband. Like I live with this man because I love him and I find that so important. I love what we have right now. Um. Yeah, what do you guys think? What's one thing that you guys did to kind of like save your relationship? So like one thing that I during pregnant like with, towards third trimester, I was just so done being pregnant. I wanted to like work out like hardcore, you know, and. Um, I know that like if someone who like if you lived your life like working out like really religiously it's okay for you to work out pretty hardcore like how you used to even during like throughout the pregnancy but you know I wasn't like that I was definitely on and off with uh, workouts I, I knew that if I were to work out like really hardcore it would definitely affect the baby so you know obviously I didn't I was just like so ready to be done with pregnancy, ready to work out, be on a healthy diet and all that. Like I, there could be nothing harder than this right now. Like I feel like I will be able to be in shape so quick, so easy. I'll be only doing like healthy meals because like towards third trimester, I had like mad cravings for bubble tea. Um, so I think I had bubble tea every day for like at least like a month or two. Yeah, it was pretty bad. And, and you know, after I had I had Aiden, he he came out to this world. I still had that like um, desire to work out pretty hard, eat healthy, and all that. And I think that I did that for like a month or two. Um, but I don't know if it's true. I, I don't know if it's like I don't know if it's something everybody goes through or it just happened to me. But um. Like, the first, I think the first four months of, three months of, like, postpartum, I don't think your body loses weight as fast as you think. Uh, I think it keep, holds on to a little bit of, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's true. I just, it, because I felt like I was on a really good diet, clean diet. I only ate what I, I needed. Because, like, I was, like, no, I wasn't even breastfeeding, you know, so I was kind of, like, doing like a pretty average calorie intake but i wasn't losing any weight and later i i later I, um i saw an article or like i saw a video saying that yeah no matter how much you try like first three four months you're you're not gonna lose as much it's a little after that after 100th day where um like your your body starts shedding a lot of fat and all that but i don't know i don't know how much of that is true but that's what i felt um, so I feel really discouraged, and I'm like, okay, you know, fuck it. I'm already tired with, like, taking care of the baby. I have no energy. I have to eat. So I just kind of, like, like go really quick, and I just ate whatever I craved. And I don't know if it's, like, a common thing, but I feel like I could eat so much more now after I had the baby. Maybe my stomach was just kind of, like expanded and i definitely feel like i could a lot more 
So that's what I've been doing every meal. Like I feel like I'm always pushing my limit every meal. Um, but I f- at the same time, I feel like I needed all the calories to kind of keep up with this man, <laughs> this little child, you know. And I guess like I could replace these meals with like healthier options, but I don't want to eat that. Like I'm stressed. And I'm tired, overworked with a baby. I don't want to sit there eating like salads. I want like fat. I want something fried. I want something hot and spicy. <laughs> okay, so like before, before baby, like I could eat shit like like junk food like this, and I could still work out, and I'll just be okay. Like it wouldn't matter. But now I don't want to say I don't have the time to work out because if I was like really desperate. Or two, I guess I could, but I'd rather just sit and like not do anything within that time that I have. I guess I could work out, but I'd rather just sleep or just sit down and do nothing than just drink my coffee. So in a way, I feel like that mentality, that desire to like, I'm gonna work out so hard, I'm gonna be fit after pregnancy, it's just, just gone, just poof, it went away. Um, I wish, cause like for me, what I, 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 st- I want to work out, believe me, I really want to, but I don't like working out, like, being chased by time. Like, I want to have good, like, okay, I have good four hours, like safe four hours where I could just take my time, work out, you know, like, um, and shower, get ready and all that. It comes in a package for me. It's not like, okay, I'm going to do like 30 minute peloton and I'm done. It's not like that. I need hours for me to be in the zone, at, you know, like, and like work out slowly, listen to music. And I need that. I don't, you know, like, I feel like that is a lot to ask for with the baby because I don't know when I'm going to have three, four hours just to work out. Um, but things are changing in my life right now, so maybe soon. Um, cause, uh, especially because, like, I, I'm i pretty sure I told you guys this too, but uh, I'm totally not I am planning to move back with my parents for a little bit until um, we have more, like... Uh, we don't have to necessarily buy a place, but... Um, there are a lot of things changing uh, in, our, in my life, in Tom's career too. So, yeah, until then, we don't want to, like, find another place to, like, rent or buy. And I tell myself, like, it's okay. I'll get back on, like, you know, I'll, I'll get back in shape soon right now I need to focus on this baby more than myself I'm not cheering up myself that way because if I don't do that I think I'll be pretty miserable like oh my gosh like my body is just never the same it's never going to be the same I am flabby I'm I'm just only gaining weight I feel so unhealthy and I feel like me like giving like mukbangs are fine because I planned it right but like there's so many days where like I give in to like temptation with food, food especially, and I just get so disappointed in myself. Like oh my gosh, I could, I couldn't like resist. Like really, like I couldn't just like skip this like I don't know this junk food for once. And also, like I get really, really disappointed in myself, um, and then it leads to like more like like negative thoughts and all that. So like I so I try to like. I calm down and like reason with myself like it's okay right now I need energy and I don't want to, I can't stress about this because if this junk food if this like bubble tea or if this bag of chips will make me happier to and, and make me happier and gives me give me more energy to take care of this baby I'll take it because that's above everything else right now like I I want to be happy taking care of Aiden like I don't want to like go through a day eating like chicken breast salad or other like uh, other like, healthy choices that I'm not like like looking forward to if that makes me more like low energy and like not very happy and cranky I'm not gonna do that 
I want to be smiling a lot. I want to be smiling in front of him. When I'm changing his diaper, I want to be smiling. I don't want to like be like, oh my god, can you stand still? Like I'm like I have no energy. Like I'm so hungry. Like, I don't want to do that. You know. I know. And I really, really want to just smile a lot for him because he's at a stage where they start to copy face facial expression expressions that they see. And if I'm just like change your diaper and like oh my god I'm so hungry if I'm doing that all the time like what is he gonna learn you know and again I am reasoning myself with myself <laughs> um, but it's okay my time will come soon um, where hi it's your papa it's your papa it's your papa you know <gasps> oh 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 <laughs> wow, you are heavy. Oh my goodness, how am I going to take it back? How am I going to take it out? Yes. So if you guys are going through what I'm going through, or if you guys have been there, or if you guys are soon to be a mom, um, it's okay. You need, your priority is your baby. If you are gaining, gaining a couple pounds, if you don't feel healthy, if you feel like you have failed because you gave in to... I don't know, a bag of chips, or like a bottle of wine, or or like you ate a little more than what you wanted. Um, it's okay. You know what? Baby first. Whatever makes you happy. Just make yourself happy so the baby will be happy. Because they'll grow. And later they are able to kind of hang out on their own a little bit more. Uh, they're going to start going to school. So just a few years where you'll... He's been doing that a lot when he pees. Like, he does, like, clapping. <laughs> it's weird. Um, so, it's okay. I just want to share that with you guys because I'm sure I'm not the only one who's going through that. So, if you guys are, it is okay. Oh my gosh, your body, like... Hi. Hi. No, I think he's ready. I'm done, too. My rom my noodles are cold. I don't I, yeah, so um so okay I got right again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. Just so uh, I just want to catch up with you guys that we are alive. We are doing good. Um so yeah, thanks for watching. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. Um I mean I know a lot of you guys if you guys are like me, you guys are already so like you guys are already like Christmas minded, like who cares about Thanksgiving? <laughs> um, but because honestly, I feel Thanksgiving is just like okay, you just eat until your stomach like it's ready to explode. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, happy Thanksgiving again! I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Say bye then. Bye bye. Shimmy 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 shimmy. Bye bye. Shimmy 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 shimmy. Bye bye, shimmy 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 shimmy. Bye bye, shimmy 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 shimmy. <laughs> okay, we are done.